Hi, I'm Colin from Appliances Online. Today we're looking at Electrolux Sensor Dryer. Let's have a quick look at the control panel here. Quickly depress the button, it lights up on the LED display here. We've got some nice little functions through here, all the dry cycles. Simply depress the button, it scrolls through whether you want to do dry, normal dry, cupboard dry, you select how dry you want the clothes. We have a manual timer, 30, 60, 90 minutes if you want to do a manual time, so you can override the sensor part of it. We have a selection here of normal dry, delicates, and also air drying. So if you've dried the clothes outside, they've gone a bit brittle, you can put them in here and fluff them up through the air drying. There's no heat used, it's just a tumble action, air passing through the clothes. Over here we have a delay timer, three, six or nine hours, so you can delay that and get that energy saving feature if you've got that uh, activated in your property. Over here we have cooling, dry or end. That tells you where you are throughout the cycle. So when it ends, you'll get a little buzzing noise at the end of the cycle. We have got a little key lock here. You can actually stop the kids from playing with it. Press the two buttons in together, three seconds, activates the key lock and to reactivate it, same thing again, three seconds and away you go. If you want to use your uh, buzzer and tone it down, if it's a little bit high pitch, you can tone it down using your buttons here. Crease free, if you've got the trousers or shirts, uh, in the cycle which have been there for the day. It'll actually go through its drying process. At the end of the cycle, every 15 minutes, it'll rotate the clothes and stop them creasing up. Makes it easier for, uh, for ironing at the very end of the day. Let's have a quick look inside the uh, dryer here. Good size opening, stainless steel. We've got these nice paddles in here which move the clothes from front to back. Means that air is going to pass through the clothes and dry them much, much quicker. Being a sensor dry, it detects when the clothes are dry, goes through a cool down period, takes the static out of the clothes, and then the automate turns off and the buzzer will sound. At the front here, we've got our lint filter that traps any loose lint. Best to keep that nice and clean all the time. So once you take all the lint out, close it up, place it back into its socket. We've got a nice strong hinging here on the side. The door itself is plastic, good sized viewing window in here. When the air actually comes through into the machine, it comes from the back, it's heated up and comes out through our directional vent here. So if it's in a closed room, make sure you've got plenty of ventilation, whether it be a door open, and then turn the vent towards the open doorway or window. If however you do want to wall mount the unit, it does come with handy wall mounting brackets. And as a tip, if you're going to replace the uh, old dryer that's on the wall, take the old dryer down, remove the brackets, and use these ones that come with the actual dryer itself. They're made and designed to suit this particular machine. You can mount the machine as you see here, or even upside down on the wall. When you do mount on the wall, it comes with a little transfer. So that means all your writing is going to be up the right way. It makes it easy to understand. Now when you are drying, if you do want to vent it externally, there is an optional venting kit you can buy for the unit itself. Simply take out the blanking cap at the back, remove this one here, and replace it with the blanking cap at the front. And what that's going to do is push all that air towards the back and out through your optional venting kit. The dryer comes with a normal plug and lead, so it simply plugs into any standard 10 amp power point. And then we have some great features with our sensor dryer by Electrolux, two year warranty on all parts and labour. I hope this video will assist you when shopping with us here at Appliances Online. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button to watch more product reviews just like this one. Hi, I'm Colin from Appliances Online. Today we're looking at the Bosch Slimline dishwasher. This is their little 45 centimetre dishwasher. It is a standard height, so it's 850 tall. It is a standard depth. Now you notice a couple of things here. It doesn't have a worktop or a lid. It's totally removed. There's no option of a lid for this model. It allows the model to be sit nice and flush